The Tennessee Vols are starting the week with a new coach after head coach Bush Jones was fired yesterday. That move will cost the UT athletics program quite a bit, according to a letter from athletics director John Curry. The program owes Butch Jones more than $8.2 million. Now, some of you are asking exactly where does that money come from? To help us sort through it and understand it is attorney Don Bosch. Don, we appreciate you being here. You hear that number, uh, 8 point, a little more than $8 million. Uh, the reality there, uh, a lot of money. You're also trying to hire a new coach. So where does the money come from? Sure. Well, first of all, understand that with the University of Tennessee, the athletics budget is its own separate creature, its own separate entity. So it's not going to be drawn from the typical funds that operate the university. Think of it as a standalone subcorporation of a bigger corporation. Mm -hmm. They raise their own money. They fund themselves. Um, anything from ticket sales to merchandise to television rights to SEC shares uh, that the conference shares, for example, with the SEC network to bowl money. So it, it is a separate pool of money. Contained in that pool, though, is what we call booster money, donations to the athletic department. And some of those donations are small. You know, someone might give $100 or $50 to the department. And then there are those mega boosters, so to speak, that, you know, give millions to the athletic department for various things. And you see names on buildings or athletic buildings mm -hmm. all through campus. That's largely because that's a reflection of, of a large donation to the athletic department. Don, there, there are some folks um, who are saying, well, the money that they take to, to uh, address these buyouts, to pay out these buyouts, is taking away from athletic, uh, from academics. Is that indeed the case? I, I would certainly say no. And, okay. and the reason is for just what I said a moment ago, with a standalone entity like an athletic department, and an athletic department that makes money, um, it's not taking away from academics. Now, the contra to that is, is A, if there's booster money, would that booster give to the library versus the football team? Well, you know, that's the booster's choice. And then two, is there money that the athletic department could be more money, could be giving back to academics? And that's always the argument is, is how much should a uh, in the black profitable athletic department contribute back to the university? And I will say that the University of Tennessee does a really good job of donating back to academics and funding that, starting back with Doug Dickey as athletic director, who, who made that a priority for the department. Buyouts common, especially in college football, yes. they will continue. Um, and when you compare other schools in the SEC, this one isn't quite as large as some of those universities. How much will the, I mean, how much will the university end up typically paying in like a butch situation with this buyout? Well, a couple of things that suggest that buyout of $8.2 million actually was structured well for the university. I had a chance to look at that and do a little bit of research and talk to some folks. And, and Butch, there's an offset to that that should Butch Jones get another job, whatever he has paid for that comparable job will offset that buyout. So that number could decrease. Mm -hmm. So uh, one, it was a, a good bargain market study-wise. And people are going to look at 8.2 is a huge number for anybody. But when you look at the other buyouts, we're paying approximately 60, as a university, 60% uh, of what Butch Jones' potential contract through the life of it will be. There are other schools that have to pay 100% of the buyout with or without offset. So Tennessee actually negotiated a market competitive buyout for Coach Jones. And again, remember that, that when, not if, but when he takes another job and he has a duty to go seek other employment, he, he's going to, that's going to be offset to some degree. Well, this definitely gives us some great perspective. Don, as always, thank you. Appreciate You're welcome. It.